During the Japanese colonial period, the main water system in the Hualien area was the Hualien Port Waterworks. The first water purification system, which is now the Mailuan Water Purification Station, was built in 1921. In 1940, the Hualien Port Waterworks expanded with a second purification system, now the Sapo Dang Water Purification Station. Together, these systems provided domestic water to Hualien City. In the Taidung area, the main water systems included the Lilong Waterworks, Taidung Waterworks, and Dai Wu Waterworks. The Lilong Waterworks is now the Guanshan Water Purification Station, the Taidung Waterworks is now the Lijia Water Purification Station, which supplies water to Taidung City and the Malan area, and the Dai Wu Waterworks is now the Dai Wu system. In the ROC period, the Hualien area was served by 13 main water supply systems, including Hualien, Heping, Xuelian, Fenglin, Fengbin, Ruesue, Friuen, Gonko, Yuli, Fuli, Luncheon, Chinan, and Songpu systems. Together, these systems had a total supply capacity of about 220,000 cubic meters per day, designed to serve a population of 310,000 people. Among them, 160,000 cubic meters per day were supplied by the Hualien system, with Sapo Dang Water Purification Station and Shofeng Water Purification Station being the largest contributors, supplying 66,000 and 45,000 cubic meters per day, respectively. The main water source in the Hualien area is the Meiluan River. In the Taidung area, water is supplied by 19 water systems, with a total daily output of around 120,000 cubic meters, serving a population of over 200,000 people. The main systems include the Taidung, Changdong, Daiwu, and Guanshan systems. The primary water sources in the Taidung area are surface water from rivers such as the Lijia River, Taiping River, and Fujia River. The Hualien Port Waterworks was established in 1921 with the construction of the first water purification system, now known as the Meiluan Water Purification Station. The planned water supply capacity was 1,250 cubic meters per day, with water sourced from the Meiluan River. There were two water intake points located upstream on the Meiluan River. The second water intake point was situated about 50 meters upstream of the first. Using gravity, raw water was transported through a water meter room to the purification station, and after treatment, the water was distributed to around 7,000 people through natural gravity flow. The water purification facilities of the first purification system included a water distribution well, sedimentation tank, sand filter, sand filtration well, water purification well, and a clear water reservoir. Additionally, two decorative fountains were installed as part of the landscape artistry within the facility. The Meiluan Water Purification Station has since been decommissioned, but the century-old water facilities built during the Japanese colonial period remain in the 9th Branch Park of Taiwan Water Corporation. The park is open for public visits upon request on regular weekdays. To provide convenient walkways for visitors, the Taiwan Water Corporation has recycled fallen and dead wood from the park and used the wood chips to create unique walking paths. These paths are both environmentally friendly and comfortable. Additionally, to educate visitors on the development of Hualien's water supply, a cultural history museum has been established within the park, showcasing water-related artifacts to ensure the preservation of this legacy. In 1940, the Hualien Port Waterworks was expanded to include a second purification system, the Sapo Dang Water Purification Station, located in Sapo Dang, Hualien. This system had a designed output of 3,740 cubic meters per day. The water purification facilities of the second purification system included a water distribution well, sedimentation tank, sand filter, sand filtration well, water purification well, and a clear water reservoir. This system shares the same water source as the first purification system. After the raw water is purified, the water was sent to the distribution reservoir on Meiluan Mountain. From there, it was distributed via gravity flow through the water meter room to residents in the new areas of Hualien City. 
The Sapo Dang Water Purification Station primarily sources surface water from the Sapo Dang River. After several expansions, the current scale of the purification station reflects the 1993 expansion. The designed output is 66,000 cubic meters per day, supplying water to 152,000 people. There are three water intake points, with the main source currently being the third intake point, located about 30 meters upstream of the second intake point. The second intake point is upstream of the first, which is no longer in use. Before entering the purification station, raw water passes through a grit removal tank to remove sediment and debris. The water purification facilities at Sapo Dang Water Purification Station include a baffle flocculator, sedimentation tank, rapid sand filter, slow sand filter, clear water reservoir, and sludge sedimentation basin. The water purification process at Sapo Dang Water Purification Station involves drawing raw water from the second and third water intake points. The water first passes through the grit removal tank to remove sediment and debris before entering the purification station. It is then sent through the baffle flocculator into the sedimentation tank, followed by rapid and slow filtration. Finally, the treated water is stored in the clear water reservoir and distributed by gravity to supply both domestic and industrial water to Hualien City, Jian Township, Xinjing Township, and Xiolin Township. Shofeng Water Purification Station was constructed in 1970, sourcing its water from the Lao River. Initially, the designed output was 1,000 cubic meters per day, serving approximately 7,000 people. In 1978, shallow wells were installed downstream of the purification station, and in 1980, the pumping station was decommissioned. The water source was switched to subsurface water from the Lao River, and surface water was no longer used. In 2003, to support the government's Eastern Development Plan, the station underwent expansion, increasing its designed output to 45,000 cubic meters per day. The water purification facilities at Shofeng Water Purification Station include a flash mixer, flocculation basin, sedimentation tank, rapid sand filter, clear water reservoir, and sludge thickener. The water purification process at Shofeng Water Purification Station involves drawing water from the Lao River and transporting it to the station. The water is then treated through the flash mixer, flocculation basin, sedimentation tank, and rapid sand filter before being stored in the clear water reservoir. The treated water is supplied to areas such as Shuhu and Shiko villages in Shofeng Township. Lilong Waterworks, constructed in 1924, is now known as the Guanshan Water Purification Station. With a designed output of 270 cubic meters per day, supplying water to over 1,500 residents in Guanshan Township and Kanding Village. In 1931, the Lilong Waterworks underwent reconstruction, including the addition of a dam to collect water from Kanding River, increasing the water supply capacity to meet the needs of over 2,500 people. The water source for the Lilong Waterworks was mountain stream water. The waterworks facilities included a slow sand filter, sedimentation tank, and clear water reservoir. The Taidung Waterworks was built in 1926 and completed in 1930, with a designed output of 1,167 cubic meters per day, serving 10,000 people. It is now the Lijia Water Purification Station. The water source was the Lijia River, with the water intake point located on the western side of the city. After being treated in the sedimentation tank and slow sand filter, the water was distributed by gravity flow to supply the Taidung urban area and the Malan area. After World War II, the system came under the management of the Taidung Municipal Water Plant. The Lijia Water Purification Station, Previously the Taidung Waterworks, was renovated in 1997 to upgrade its water purification facilities, converting the slow sand filtration system to a rapid sand filtration system. The upgrade not only improved filtration efficiency but also increased the water output from 20,000 cubic meters per day to 30,000 cubic meters per day. The water purification facilities at Lijia Water Purification Station include a coagulation basin, sedimentation tank, 
rapid sand filter, clear water reservoir, wastewater collection basin, and sludge drying field. The water purification process at Ligia Water Purification Station involves drawing raw water from the intake point on the Ligia River and delivering it to the inlet. The water first passes through the primary settling tank on the Ligia River, then enters the distribution well within the purification station. It is treated in the coagulation basin, sedimentation tank, and sand filter, and finally stored in the clear water reservoir. The treated water is distributed by gravity through open channels to supply residents in Taidung City and Bainan Township. Daiwu Waterworks was constructed in 1928 to supply the Daiwu community, serving a population of 500 people. The designed output was 60 cubic meters per day, with water sourced from the upstream waters of the Daiwu River, located about 4 meters southwest of Daiwu. A dam diverted the water into a 50 cubic meter clear water reservoir for disinfection, and the water was then distributed to the urban area via gravity for residential use. In the ROC period, Daiwu Waterworks was consolidated into the Daiwu system. It underwent four expansions in 1956, 1974, 1982, and 1988. In 1964, a shallow well was installed near Dai Wu Bridge to draw subsurface water from the Dai Wu River. Due to insufficient water supply, a deep well was drilled next to the shallow well to increase the water supply and expand the service area. In 2022, to stabilize the water supply, the Dai Wu system underwent further improvements, including the construction of a new 500 cubic meter distribution reservoir in Hepping and the upgrade of electromechanical equipment. The Daiwu system's water supply process involves extracting well water, which is then disinfected in the distribution reservoir. The water is distributed by gravity to areas including Jialyuoban, Guzhuang, Zishihu, Shanggu, Nanjia, and parts of Daiwu. A separate pumping station supplies water to the Heping and Danio communities. The Tian Water Purification Station was built in 1987, with a designed output of 15,000 cubic meters per day. The water source is surface water from the Taiping River and deep wells within the station. The surface water intake point is located at a check dam upstream of the Taiping River, and the water is delivered to the station via pipelines. The water purification facilities at Tian Water Purification Station include a weir mixer, flocculation basin, sedimentation tank, slow sand filter, clear water reservoir, and wastewater basin. The water purification process at Tian Water Purification Station involves drawing surface water from the Taiping River and delivering it to the station through pipelines. Additionally, raw water is drawn from deep wells within the station. The water undergoes treatment in the weir mixer, flocculation basin, sedimentation tank, and sand filter before being stored in the clear water reservoir. The treated water is distributed via two supply lines. One supplies water to Taidung City in Bainan Township using gravity, while the other supplies water to higher elevations in Xinyuan and Subayang through pressurized distribution. The Chenggong Water Purification Station began construction in 2011 and was completed at the end of 2012. It has a designed treatment capacity of 14,000 cubic meters per day and draws water from the Fujia River. The station is a key part of the Taidung Chenggong Water Supply System expansion project. The construction of the purification station meets the water needs of residents in Chenggong Township and surrounding areas, while also promoting local tourism and industrial development. The water purification facilities at Chenggong Water Purification Station include a grit removal regulation basin, flocculation basin, sedimentation tank, rapid sand filter, clear water reservoir, wastewater sedimentation tank, sludge thickener, and sludge drying beds. The water purification process at Chenggong Water Purification Station involves drawing raw water from the Fujia River and delivering it to the station. After being regulated in the grit removal regulation basin, the water passes through the flocculation basin, sedimentation tank, and rapid sand filter. Finally, the treated water is stored in the clear water reservoir and distributed to the residents of Changong Township. 
The Hualien and Taidung areas, nestled between mountains and the sea, boast one of Taiwan's most distinctive geographical features, a narrow and naturally formed terrain. The green, sprawling mountain ranges form a green corridor, making the region a top choice for domestic tourism. However, this unique geography has also posed significant challenges to the development of public water supply. The eastern region's high mountains, narrow terrain, and scattered households have made it difficult to lay pipelines and maintain the water supply system. Despite these challenges, the Taiwan Water Corporation has spared no effort in improving water quality, especially when it comes to the swift repair of pipelines damaged by earthquakes. The availability of clean and sufficient water in the Hualien and Taidung regions today is a testament to the tireless efforts and dedication of many public water supply personnel. We should cherish this resource, and, as the saying goes, when drinking water, remember its source, always remaining grateful for their contributions.